Oh my god. Okay. I think it's I think it's working. Okay. Um hi guys. Um this is a duel between Oblivion Shuhan and Oblivion Zamatarasu, um otherwise known as Paul Blake. Paul's gonna be playing uh I actually don't know what he's playing, but uh Shuhan's playing Noble Knights. He's not actually a Noble Knight player, but then again he doesn't exactly, you know. You can play the game. Let's just put it that way. Um, and Paul usually plays Fire so he's not playing Fire today. Um, and Shuhan opens Medrot. Optimal. Um, but Medrot's gonna do things. Medrot summons Boris. Boris does things. A lot of things happen. Uh, Boris is going to get her search. Paul has no failures. He has a 42 card dig, which is, you know, it's fair. Not 60 cards, I'm disappointed. 6, and he has Destiny and dumps the other two. Not that it really matters. And he's going to overlay and re-equip some. All of this is of course happening during the main phase. <laughs> I mean, draw faith. God damn it! Ooh, Kaiser Colosseum. That's going to be rough. Depending on what Paul's playing. I mean. Okay. Oh, this must be his Hermit Yokai deck. Hermit Yokai, I understand, get a lot of effects off. Or get the get a lot of normal summons off. I know that much. But um he's gonna have to he's gonna have to deal with this Artorga somehow. And he can't overlay without getting the Kaiser Coliseum. He's not going to normal summon Kaminitachi of the Hermit Yokai. And he can attack directly. And he's pretty happy with this. And Community Touch should be going back to the during the intestines turn. Paul sets to And <laughs> it's roll decree. Um this is a very rough field. I don't know if there's anything he can do to get over this field. Um he doesn't he can't activate any trap cards. Which is what I assume he can set. And a target can't be destroyed by card effects or battle once per turn. And it can't be targeted once per turn. Or is it just can't be targeted, period? Can it be targeted, period. So. That's pretty rough. And a target is also pretty big. From Galatin. I think the first game's over, to be honest. He only has one summon per turn. There's no way he can do enough damage before a Tauragus kills him. <laughs> uh. Watcher's chair? Nobody's talking in the watcher's chair. Galatin decreases his attack again, but it's still pretty huge. Now Targus is again going to attack directly. Paul has not seen any more. Um, I have no idea how he's going to deal with this. He's going to start setting monsters. I don't know what Hermit Yokai would like to do. And that's the end of the first game! <laughs> Andy, Paul actually had bottomless and breakthrough skill set, but uh, Royal Decree, OP, and they are siding. I assume this is, yeah, they're going to probably side. <laughs> uh, I actually wish I could talk to Paul. I'm not in the chat room right now. But... What's good versus Yokai?
hand trap. Um. Yeah, they're starting. They're discussing. This is kind of, you know, it's a friendly, it's a friendly duel. Still siding. Still siding. I don't think there's a time limit in dueling network for siding. I don't think. Both. He's gonna side Maxi. They don't really, no they don't really special summon though. It's mainly off normal summon, I think. For him at Yokai. I don't know how much he's gonna get out of Maxi. Of course, Maxi decks in by at least one every few minutes. So. I will pee him at. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's not gonna summon anything, he's going to wait until his turn comes again before he starts attacking with things. And he normal summons go away. 1900 beat stick. And he's gonna hit him. And the attack goes through. Why am I even talking like this? Fucking hell. I need somebody else to co-commentate, otherwise it's gonna get really, really boring. I'm already really, really fucking boring. And he flips roll decree. Pretty sure he runs three of it. Not sure if he runs any trap stuns or not, but at least three to roll decree, apparently. And he summons Vidrot. Oh, he missed both. He's going to Space Typhoon the Royal Decree anyway. He missed Summon Madrot, but MST is going to hit the Royal Decree anyway. Uh, surprisingly, he's not going to kill the Colosseum, which means he probably has some relatively legit back row. Not sure of, tra not sure of Paul's siding transmigration. Paul would be Zamaterasu for those of us who don't know. And Shuhan is thinking, maybe he's considering doing an overlay into, I don't know. He's going to summon Madroid anyway, and he doesn't have an equip spell, but he's going to attack Paul. I don't know if he's going to overlay or not, because Kaiser would mean, yeah, I think, yeah, he is going to overlay. Um, so it's still, oh, Solemn Warning. He's going to prevent the summon of Kosala Omega. Um, and Kaiser Colosseum effect is pretty much, you know, doesn't matter right now. He has both the pendulum monsters with Hermit Yokai. I'm not even going to try pronouncing that. But he's going to use the effect of this, which is... Uh, you can make its pendulum scale 11 to the end of turn. I wish you could hear me. Uh, but yeah, so this side increases its pendulum scale to 11, and this this doesn't really have an effect. Okay, so I'm some, going to summon both of these. Um, Daibakaze. Oh, you can target two things and return it to the hand. And it's going to return his Tenki and the set card. He's going to activate Tenki. He hasn't normal summoned yet. One ball combo. <laughs> and Shuhan four hits. That wouldn't have been game for attacking, but I yeah, Shuhan only had um Madrod in his hand and he wouldn't have been able to, you know, make a play to get him out of that situation. And that was game two. And they're siding again and this is the start of game three. And Shuhan has decided to go first. I still have no idea what either of them has decided for each other.
Juhan, normal summons a draw and attacks. Ah, uh, yeah, this thing. <laughs> and Shuhan is Rota in his hand. Not that we're supposed to know that, but anyways. Madro is going to summon Boars. And Boars are going to use its effect. Um, yeah, to put Destiny, Caliburn, and the other thingy. And Paul Zamatarasu should roll. The dice are landed on five, and he adds destiny. Gwen and Caliburn. There we go. <laughs> that was strange. Anyways, Gwen and Caliburn. Are there. And he's going to summon. Uh, Okay, that was weird. He's going to summon Autaragus in attack position. And he's going to attach 3 from his grave to Autaragus. Caliber and the one I can't pronounce in Destiny. Never mind! Okay. Well, that happens. So he's going to attach Caliber and Ermine, Gwen, and Destiny. So he's looking pretty good so far. Again. Once per turn, he can't be destroyed by card effects or battle, and also can't be targeted by card effects. I mean, okay, this card again, coming to attack, you can attack him directly. Uh, I think it's pretty much going to be the same story. Only he goes back to the hand, and Paul will be able to summon something from his deck due to Divine Win, which is that one. <laughs> And he's going to summon this thing off of that. Um, I honestly have no idea what Paul is thinking. I don't know how Hermit Yokai meant to play, but that's very confusing. And he detaches one for Autaragus. Um, and he destroys that thing, which goes back to his extra deck. Ah, kind of see what he's getting at. I think it's just setting up for his next turn because he knows the monster would, just, would um, be destroyed anyway. Pot of Duality reveals Daiwa Kaze, Kamai Tachi, and a Forbidden Lance. And he's going to add Daiwa Kaze to his hand. And he's going to set one. It might be the Kamaita cheat, which he just... Wait, no, he put that back. I don't know what he said. <laughs> it might just be the Kaminitachi. Or something else. Nobody knows. And Otaragus is again going to detach him. Hit his face down. Kamamitachi. Of the Hermit Yokai. And he's going to use Earth to pop his face down bottomless. And he has a Madrot. And he has a Gawain. I'm pretty sure he can make something happen. Something. Something. Wonder if he trusts the back row or not. Probably did. Does. I mean, um. I mean, his attacks have been going through so far. So. I don't think Shuhan has any reason to believe that back row isn't, you know, like a battle trap or something. Yeah, and he's just going to overlay straight away for another Otaragus? Or is there some card I don't know about? I don't know Noble Knights very well. Or Hermit Yokai very well. And he takes that play back. He's going to make... Oh, that's very cool. He's going to make Blade Armor Ninja. And he detached one, so he gets to attack twice, and that will be game.
and that's 2-1 to Shuhan. more. <laughs> Anyways. Um, that is... Okay, they're going to start it as a new match. So the first match ended 2-1, and they're going to go into their second match. And hopefully this match I will try to be a lot less boring than the previous match. Although the chance of that happening is very fucking low. Shuhan's rolling dice to get his attention. Paul's going to normal summon two monsters. An overlay. A Hermit Yokai, I don't believe him in XYZ. Ah, but he's going to make Kagasuchi a mil 5. Unfortunately, he milled a. What the hell was that? Oh! D! <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, that was D. He milled a bottomless something I don't know and two Kamami Tachis and he's going to <laughs> I assume he's gonna overlay again. Is he going to make uh, no Tiger King? Oh, okay, he makes Tiger King. And Tiger King is gonna say either Tenki or Tensu. My guess is Tenki. I don't know why he's doing this though. Okay, he um Paul says a Tenki is gonna add another Kamami Tachi. I honestly don't know why Paul's doing this. Um, from my understanding, Hermit Yokai get most of their effects of summoning Hermit Yokai monsters and attacking with Hermit Yokai. With not, not Hermites. Attacking with Hermit Yokai monsters. That's what I don't understand. So he wrote it from the draw. And he's going to summon both of them from the deck because it's just easier that way. Um, and Borders is going to activate its effects like it always does. Roll the dice. Galatin, Excalibur, and Destiny, I think it was. Paul. Oh, Paul. Yep. 1 2 for Calibur and 3 4 for Excalibur. Wait, what? Is Calibur and Excalibur different? Ah, I am retarded. Okay, so four and yeah, Excalibur and Galatin and oh Calibur oh Calibur is that one. Oh, I'm an idiot. Anyways, <laughs> he's going to overlay for Artorgus, and he is going to re-equip some things. I don't know if he's going to use. A target effect he's probably going to use to um, kill Tiger King because uh, Tiger King can just detach. I think he's going to go target and detach for Tiger King if he detaches at all. If he feels like it's necessary. I mean, he wants to get rid of Tiger King, of course, but I don't know if it's easier that way. And um, Shuhan gains a hundred, uh, gains five hundred off Calibre and the fig. Detach for Targus. Or not. He's going to go straight into battle phase with Gwen. Um, and Gwen's effect, I think, means. Ye yeah. He detaches. Oh, okay, because um, a Targus pretty much becomes a Catastar, I believe. Does it? I don't even read these. Right, and he's going to... Okay, so he does the Tash for Atari, I guess. And he does kill the Tiger King, but he just did his battle phase first. And he's going to Tinky again. 
for the Kamanitachi, I believe. And he adds Kamanitachi with the second Tinky. <laughs> Still not quite sure, certain how he's going to get over Shuhan's field. But uh, Kamanitachi can attack directly, and Kamamitachi can. That happens. And Kamamitachi can add things with uh, Kamanitachi's effect. Um, you can add one Huma Yokai Kafuri deck to your hand. So he's probably going to add the uh, barrier. Which one's Yasuo? Ah, no idea. Okay, so he returns that to the hand with um, Kamae Tachi and... Everything should go back to the hand unless he decides to overlay. Again. No, he's gonna add Yokai Shrine of Trials. What does that do? <laughs> that was a thing he built earlier. I actually don't know what it does. I think it's kind of new. Pretty sure it's going to activate now. After your overlay, or so please don't be Tiger King. Oh no, he's going to make... Um, he, wait, he can't make Cardinal. He might make Castell and return our target. Yeah, he's going to make Castell. And he's going to return our target. Pretty extra deck, and all the equips just kind of fall off like that. Um, but Shuhan, I don't know if he has Madrot or not. And Paul's not going to activate the continuous spell from his hand. Probably because it does something I don't know about. I don't know what Excalibur does. I think it has a Grey out effect, but I don't know. No, nope, Shuhan is forfeited. The first game after Paul did some plays. Deciding for the second game has begun and just we're just waiting for them to start now. I actually don't know what either of them have um, sided against each other since in the first match we didn't even see any side deck cards but hopefully some things are going to happen. Shuhan is going first. And he's going to normal summon Gawain. Activate Gwen. Which means uh which means Gwen's going to stay on the field if it would be destroy battle or card effect, I believe. Also makes him play in two hundred, which is bigger than Okay. He's going to blind he's gonna blind blind space in his team. Well not really blind space, I guess we have more of them. Um, but Paul's gonna let that. Paul's gonna leave Gwen on the field. Gwen is 2200. And he's gonna hit Paul for 2200. Actually, I'm gonna pee in both of them. I don't understand that. And he has a second Gawain. Not sure if he's going to overlay or just let it go. He's going to overlay. 2200 by itself was bigger than any of the Hume Yokai's even with um, singing him too. But he's going to make this our tar, I guess. <laughs> okay, Paul just replies, yep, lol. <laughs> <laughs> I find that really, really funny. Hello? Oh, and I think he uh, destroyed the face down with our target's effect. I thought it was, I should reveal for... Alright, I guess it doesn't really matter. 
All oh, right, he's just done it. Okay, <laughs> well he kills the same one. There was a little bit of confusion, but he just decides to kill the same one. It's fine. He's going to normal summon Kamamitachi, and with its effect, he's going to summon Summon Jinchu. At least I think that's what it says. And he's going to overlay for maybe just Tiger King, I assume, or Kagatsuchi. I don't know. Maybe Kagats. Oh, uh, Tiger King probably. Just a feeling. Or not, Ragnar Zero, and he's going to hit him with Ragnar Zero. Uh, Ragnar Zero is a fake to destroy. Um, he detaches Gwen, which means he can't be destroyed. You know, instead of, in place of it. Um, and he kills it by battle. And Autargus is a fake special summons. What? No. Yeah, there was a little bit of confusion. But, yeah. <laughs> he draws Madrot. And depending on what he has in his hand. Actually, yeah. He has, he has Destiny, it's over. Oh, it's not over, over, actually. If any of them increase attack, that means uh, Ragnar Zero can do some things. I believe. I don't know if there's anything he can do to avoid that. I think so. He's gonna banish Excalibur, Arf, and I think the last one was... I don't remember, was it Galadin? Now that Road is at 3, a lot of people have been picking up Noble Knights, although most people still play Shadows, I think. What's the Teller Knights? And he adds Caliburn. Caliburn does increase attack though, which is a worry. But he's not going to attach Caliburn and use Caliburn's effect too. Ha <laughs> Uh, well he was meant to, okay. Cause uh, when he activates Ragnar Zero can, you know, uh, chain a response and kill it. Either way I think he has to lose a monster, yeah, either way he has to lose a monster. It was unfortunate that he uh, managed to roll and add uh, Caliburn. And he's forced to overlay before he does other things. What? He's forced to overlay before he does other things. What has happened? What has happened? I'm really confused right now. I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> Gwen somehow came back for I don't even know what happened. So he's going to activate it on Madrot, I believe. What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Chainlink 1, Caliburn, and then Artargus. And he activates everything. Somehow, I have no idea what happened, because I don't know what half this stuff does. Um, but he managed to save my draw from dying, and he's made Artargus. With a lot of equipped spells. And he's going to detach to kill Ragnar Zero and attack directly. Oh, 
Um, and I have no idea what Paul can do now to get over this Artorigus because oh, and he's going to just okay. He's going to use R to pop the face down, and I do believe that is. Never mind, it's not quite game yet. He can still make two or three. He's going to soul charge for two. He's going to take two K. And he's going to get rid of this Artorigus real quick. Oh, and he has a tanky. Oh, right. I think he's going to do the same thing he did last game. He is going to tanky for the thing that can bounce the other thing, and he's going to bounce Excalibur so he can get rid. Yeah, he's going to search for Kamaizachi, and then he's going to bounce the Excalibur and prevents targeting, and he's going to make Stell, and not hit him, but then Shuhan has to top deck something to get over. Um, what is it, Castell? Oblivion Miliana? <laughs> Who the hell is this? <laughs> Same thing as last game, he's going to Castell. And Shuhan's Veilers are nowhere to be found. Never mind, he's going to 101 as Artorigus. I think it's because I think it has something to do with Excalibur, but I don't know exactly what. I think it's just might just be a better idea since um, 101 can protect itself. And I think he's going to hit the face down here yeah, with his 101, and then he's going to attack directly with the other Kamat Yokai monster, so come on, Mitachi can get its effect. And he's going to add Yokai Shadow Trust. I'm going to read this this time. Each time a Hermit Yokai monster is normal speed or summon, play one Hermit Yokai counter on this card. You can remove one Hermit Yokai counter from this card. And when these are fixed, you can only use effective Yokai Shrine of Charles on the turn. One counter, everything gains 300, or three counters. Add a Hermit Yokai card from your deck to your hand. Oh, so that's the gateway Paul was talking about. That's a nice card to prove the Gilness. Game 2, I believe. And that was 2 0 to Paul, I think, was it? I completely lost track. I can't remember what happened in the first game. 2-3. So it's 2 games to Paul and 3 games to Shuhan. I think. <laughs> huh. High roll. High roll 2. <laughs> and Madrot happens. <laughs> uh.
Okay, so apparently Paul did inside. Um, I don't know if he has a side deck or not. Probably, I'd assume so at least. Um, or at least he's, or maybe he's just take uh, deck testing. In which case, that would explain a lot of things. But this is going to be the third game of the second match. <gasps> and Madrot happens, Boris happens. Can't remember what he added. It's not that important because it's just going to make our targets, and then everyone is happy, apart from Paul. Um, and there we go. Our target. Our target. Caliburn. Caliburn. Oh, the hand up. Caliburn game five hundred. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Um, but he's going to duality for the combined touch which he adds to his hand. He's going to put the breakthrough skill and Urin thingy back. Um, and since they put the breakthrough skill back, I assume one, he needs a monster, or two, he already has decent back row. I don't know why he calls it Yasuo. I think, I think that's his name now or something. I'm just gonna call it by the thing up here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, Shuhan misplayed slightly. Um, not sure how much that matters. Oh, wait. Destiny? Okay, he forgot Destiny. Destiny would have pretty much prevented him from uh, dying to card effects or battle once per turn, but uh, that probably would have done better than I think Arf. You probably could have replaced Arf. With that, probably, or maybe Gwyn. He's going to duality for a second withdrawal. Oh, or a Valor. <laughs> there we go. He's going to add Valor to his hand, and that should slow fall down a little bit. This way, well, he can't get rid of our targets as easily as he would with the thing that's been working the past few games. I think Paul loses. I think. Because he doesn't play Tensu. Not that it matters that much. But he's going to get hit for a lot. Five hundred turn is really cool. Caliburn. <laughs> Artargus, you monster. Thirty eight. Jesus, that's huge. And that's two more hits away from game. But he has Kamamitachi. Even though Noble Knights have like a really huge field, more like a good field, like a monster that's pretty much like I don't know. It's not a, it's not 
like impenetrable, but it's going to like take some take some effort, you know what I mean? But um they often don't really have any background and the way Shuhan's compensating for this is to have, you know, Veilers in hand because he doesn't have enough space for traps, unless it's something like Royal Decree, which means he can uh, do a lot of things without worrying too much about back row. Uh, no. Um, no, it's not like Caster. It has to. Just saying. Um, Kamami Taji isn't caster. Um, caster is like, <laughs> have fun negating cast of the fake. But um, it's not caster. It actually has to. It's actually an effect, I think. But um. He's going to let it resolve. It's going to be okay. He's going to let him summon, and whatever he makes is probably going to get Veilered real quick. Because he has to overlay some Hermit Yokai things, unless he can summon another one. Um, in which case, he'll still have one on the field after he overlays. Unless he's going to Veiler this. Yasuo. He's going to Veiler Yasuo, and he can't get over a Targus still. Which means he's probably going to make something Tiger Kingy? No, maybe maybe Kagatsuchi. Maybe, but Kagatsuchi would die pretty quickly anyways. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what he's going to make. Probably going to be either one of those. I mean, Castle can't do anything. He's probably just going to make Kagatsuchi to protect, to protect itself. I'd assume. Or he's going to make Exoton. That works too. Um, he doesn't have Destiny on the field, so Gwen's going to protect it once. Or I've misunderstood something. Yeah. Wait, what? All oh, right, everything goes. He's going to detach from Exoton again. Everything's going to get blown up this time. Uh, Shu Han takes no more damage for the rest of the turn, but he doesn't have a field. And pulls us three cards in hand. Not Shu Han pulling the... Yeah, oh, wait, no. And he has Madrot, which he's going to run over. <clears throat> Madrot summoned off a Targus. Of course, but... Uh, Soul Charge? Soul Charge. So the soul charge. I no soul charge, but it does get a madrot. However, he can't special summon because he already used duality. He might just special summon the Gawain from his hand and make something, I don't know. No, he's going to attach Gwen, and he's going to hit Exiton. Okay. I totally forgot about Gwen. Um, and at 2k, it's bigger than any of the Hermit Yokai without Tenki. I'm pretty sure. And there's no way Paul has the pen to the monsters in his hand right now, so. <clears throat> and he's going to flip the roll to pre drain the end phase. He has a second Madrot. <laughs> and he's going to Veilo the field Madrot. And he's going to summon this Madrot and he's going to overlay for our targets again. Presumably. No, wait, the other one. No, Blade Armor Ninja, GG. Why do I always forget about Blade Armor Ninja? It just happened. And that will be game. That's two matches going to Shuhan. Both of them 2-1, I believe. 
if my memory is not really fucking horrible. Um, and yeah, that was the duel. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you didn't, stop watching this. And um, we're going to be uploading some other things as well. Cheers.